I've received a lot of comments recently on how to install my double end bag. So this video, I will show you step by step exactly how I went about doing that. And this also applies to basically my heavy bag and the PVC suspension rings, since they're all pretty similar in regards to how I set them up. So let's jump right in and I'll start by showing you what you'll need to get started. So first and foremost, you're gonna need an eye bolt. And uh, the one I actually used is a bit bigger, but it's still in the ceiling. Go with a bigger eye bolt, uh, especially if you're hanging something heavy. I suppose this would be all right for something like a double end bag that doesn't weigh a lot. But um, if you just go with a bigger one, then you'll have less to worry about. You'll also need some carabiners or D-clips. Uh, I got a few different sizes here. You're gonna wanna use the bigger one on the eye bolt. And then I use these other sizes here to kind of adjust the height. Then I used a drill and some drill bits to get the hole going. If you don't have a drill and a drill bit, you might want to consider investing in one because they're just not that expensive and they last a really long time. And you're probably going to get a good bit of use out of it over its lifetime. You could get the hole started with a uh, nail by just hammering that up into the stud and then screwing that into the hole. You'll also need something to screw the eye bolt in with. I actually use the screwdriver. I definitely don't recommend that you hand tighten this thing. You're gonna need a probably a chair or some kind of step stool. And uh, that's because I imagine most people cannot reach the ceiling. Definitely wanted to be able to get at least one car in here. The rings, I have them off to the side. Uh, I don't need a ton of space for these. They are about three feet off the wall here. The heavy bag was a little bit different. You do need to make sure you've got some space to move around the bag. And uh, I've pretty much accomplished that from most of the sides. Uh, when you get to this back side, it is a little cramped because of the mat here and how close the wall is, but I can still get behind it, but I am fairly close to the bag. And even when the car is parked in here, uh, I made sure that there was plenty of room to, you know, move around and use the bag. Another thing with the rings, uh, being able to hang them off to the side like that really opens up some floor space when you're using the heavy bag. So some things to consider. So once you've decided on a good location to hang your whatever it is you're hanging, it's time to start drilling and then you just screw the eye bolt in. I essentially took a, a piece of wood and screwed it into the stud, actually multiple studs, one, two, three, and uh, secured it to the ceiling like that. And all that did was open up uh, the range of space where I could screw the eye bolt in because I wanted these things in very specific spots so that everything would fit. In the case of the heavy bag, I actually have uh, the eye bolt going into the wood and also there's a stud right above that. I just wanted to be definitely sure that it was not gonna come down because you know it's 100 pounds and honestly, I wanted to be able to hang and swing on it uh, without it falling. I've used this UFC heavy bag for five years and it's still in great condition. As long as you hang this securely, it's a quality bag that I'd still honestly recommend to anyone. Unless you're gonna go the extra mile and I get these cross boards to put on your ceiling, you will be limited as to where you can hang things. All right, so pretty simple. Just hook that in up there and we're just gonna hook it on there. I'm gonna hook my other bungee, which I kind of reviewed this earlier. In a previous video, this broke, uh, but I did fix it with some uh, duct tape and zip ties. It's actually been working pretty well. I've been using it for a few months like this but I like to hang this broken one right here so that if it does break, the bungee just kind of slips down and it doesn't like, you know, come back and hit me in the face or something. And remember with the double end bag, not only are you gonna need to anchor the top, but you need to find something to anchor the bottom. So what I did is I just wrapped about uh, six or seven chain links around the kettlebell handle and connected those together with a Z-clip. And then you just bring the bottom bungee on down and connect that. And I have this piece of foam here protecting the uh, handle of the kettlebell because I don't want to mess up this beautiful Iron Man kettlebell, which I also did a review on. You can check that in the description below. Once you connect that S hook 
you're pretty much good to go. I would still recommend this double end bag. It's been over a year since the bungee slipped free, but the duct tape and zip ties are holding strong. Okay, so assuming you have your eyeball in the stud, which that's an important key point that it's in the stud and not the drywall because this is a heavy piece of, equ of equipment that we're hanging here, you should be good to go to hang this thing. So most heavy bags are gonna already come with the chain and those will all be connected through a, a metal loop. So all you're gonna need is your clip. So you clip that on and then you're gonna clip the other end onto the eye bolt. And that's gonna require two people. So somebody's gonna probably have to support the bag while another person clips it on real quick. And uh, this is another thing with this bag. Uh, there's an extra link in here and that allows it to rotate freely in a 360 degree manner. And uh, I also threw an extra clip in here just to lower the heavy bag because it was, otherwise it hangs a little bit too high for me. And as far as my suspension rings go, it's essentially the same thing. Once you got your eyeball screwed in, which is the hardest part, you just essentially use a D-clip here to uh, connect the straps to the eyeball. And uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand here. Holy crap, I did it. You gotta drop a like for that. Once you loop the strap through the D-clip, uh, you just take it on up to the ceiling here. Let's see if we can hook this on. Yep. And it's really that easy. Just like that, you can hang some suspension or gymnastics rings. And I'm telling you, if I can do it, you guys can do it too. So hopefully I covered everything. And if I missed something or you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comments below. Hitting the like button helps share this video with other people. So if you found this useful at all, please consider doing that. I appreciate everybody that tunes into this and don't forget to subscribe for future content.